So this is my new note-taking technique. I like it so much better than the old way that I was doing it with uh, Microsoft OneNote. And my, my OneNote note sheet is still available down in the description below. For those of you guys who are not aware, uh, you can go in the description, click the link, and uh, get my free note sheet. Um, but since then, I have been, I've completely overhauled how I take notes. And all my new notes, I'm building out uh, using... Markdown, and this is uh, this technique was uh, first uh, introduced to me uh, by one of the John Hammond uh, John Hammond videos, and it's so important to take notes. Uh, I think that most of my viewers understand that, but if you are new here, one of the biggest hacks that you can have, you know, you can do uh, to really e like elevate the hell out of how quickly you learn this stuff and retain it, is to take solid notes. And uh, I'm pretty much, nowadays, I'm taking notes on everything that I do. When I first started, one of the mistakes I made was I would, ta I would take the notes on, um, you know, the things here and there that I learned, which was good. But I wouldn't take notes on all the boxes that I would do either, right? Like, I would, I've done so many hack-the-box machines that I have absolutely zero notes for. And, uh, yeah, I highly regret that uh, decision. So... I would take notes on more than just the boxes I do. Anything that I learned that was new to me, I would take notes. Um, and if you if you look at my Microsoft OneNote, that's what I'm talking about there, how I have different sections, like, okay, here's how you, the different ways to spawn a reverse shell. Uh, here's the different um, commands you can use um, on MySQL to enumerate stuff or to exploit, uh, try to exploit the MySQL service. Things like that, right? Really targeted information. But for the example case in this video, I'm going to show you how it would take notes against a box using this new technique. So I love to use this tool called Obsidian. It's like a note-taking thing here. You see all my notes here. Now, I created a new note sheet for Forest by Hack the Box. So let's, uh, let's demo it on here, right? So let's say, you know, going back here, let's say that I have already ran uh, some nmap scans and things like that. The way I like to do this, it's really annoying to, I could just copy the scan results from uh, the, the terminal here, right? But as you see here, this is like multiple, well, let me, let me just drop in a tmux real quick here. What you see here is that this is, uh, I would have to scroll a little bit for this. And so the way that I personally like to do this is just, open it up in um, VS Code. And the nice thing about that is I can also, if I have exploits and things like that, I can open the exploit in this code editor here. But I opened it here, right? And here's my nmap scan results. So if I want to quickly add this to my notes, I can just click in here, easily copy it all, and then paste it in. And I'll show you another cool thing here. So if you don't know Markdown, I could cover that in another video. Um, I probably should do that, really. Let me know if you'd like to see a video where I teach you guys how to actually use Markdown for note-taking. Basically, if you've ever used GitHub and wrote a readme file, that's written in Markdown. So there's different things here. Uh, like you saw me type here. I don't know if you can see this. I apologize for how small this is. Let me make it bigger. There we go. You see these three back ticks here? Anything I enclose in this is going to look like uh, code, basically. So if I click here, you can see that this is how it looks by default. Now, you can tell it what language you have written in here, what language the code's in. Since this was uh, Linux commands right here, right? I could type bash and get it into like a bash format. So now you see this is instantly a lot more readable. So just something pretty cool here. If I had like some Python, for example, I'll show you an example here. Let's say you had some Python code that you put inside the three back ticks, right? Like um, import OS print hello, something like that, right? If I don't tell it what language it is, it won't know. So it's just going to display it like that. But if I say, hey, this is Python. Now I get the uh, nice syntax highlighting. So Markdown, imagine if you were taking notes on like OneNote. You wouldn't really be able to do this as far as I'm aware. 
Um, this is just so much cleaner output. It's just really clean. I, I really like it. You can also write HTML in Markdown, right? So I could say like um, header, something like this, right? Uh, but there's also shorter, quicker ways to write things. Like um, I could do it like that or, you know, like this. And yeah, didn't mean to go too long on the markdown stuff here. I'll make a dedicated video for that, but I just wanted to show some real basic stuff. So I would take notes of things all along the way. Now, I guess this wasn't the best one to demo with because this doesn't have a web component. There's no website to this. But say you did have a website that uh, you were on and you wanted to take a screenshot and add it to your notes, right? Like, let's just go to google.com here. Say, you know, you get on the homepage of the site and uh, you want to include it in your report, right? Because what one thing that Markdown is awesome for is you can take quick notes on it and easily convert it to a beautiful looking report uh, by exporting it into a PDF. Uh, there's so much to do with this. I can make a whole series on this, honestly. But uh, one of the coolest tools that I've found recently is called Flameshot. And it was not installed on Kali by default. So I just did an app get install. I'll show you. App get install Flameshot. And I already have it. And what I need to do is just come up here, search for it, click it here. And you'll see that it adds this icon to my bar here, this flame shot one. So now what I can do is I can just click this and it'll give me so many options. I can mark this up however I want to, uh, to do it. If I want to highlight stuff, if I want to, you know, bring attention to different things. Um, I haven't even played around with all the options that you have for this. Um, whatever, right? And then when I'm done doing all this stuff, I click this button here for copy to clipboard. And the reason that I love this so much is that when it's copied to your clipboard, you can just paste it here. And now when I look at this, I see the images right here. So it's absolutely awesome. And uh, you could also do this with the, with the snipping tool as well, right? So if I have a snip of the homepage. I could paste that in. But um, one reason that I like Flameshot a lot is that it, I just like the options available to me a little bit more. Um, once you, uh, once you have this, right? Like you have a lot of ways to really tweak this and I can even adjust it after the fact as well. And that was one annoyance with something like this, right? Once I take the, uh, the screenshot, I can't really adjust this, the size. It's just kind of wherever it was at the time and that's it. So yeah, I definitely recommend this pretty highly. And I would just take notes as I go. I would show you an example, but all the boxes are like active boxes and, uh, or something like, um, an offset box, some proprietary thing I can't show you guys. But I would just keep taking notes like this and screenshot wherever I need to easily by just copy pasting and uh, terminal output. You could just paste it in here. And when I'm done with this, the awesome thing is, say I'm done with this, I'm ready to submit my report, my final report. All I need to do is export this to a PDF. So I could click up here, these three dots, and then go to export to PDF. And um, you got a few options here. I believe, I haven't looked into this a lot, but I believe that you can also apply different CSS templates to your markdown to, you know, theme it out however you want the color theme to be, which is really cool. I need to look more into that. But yeah, forest.pdf. Let's take a look at that, shall we? So we open that up and there you go. If you can imagine... If you're putting together actual report, you have this really nice code blocks of things, right? I should have did some text in here. I could show you like explaining stuff. You could even export this into other formats like HTML for your blog site or whatever the case may be. Markdown is absolutely amazing. And I, you know, I just had to share that with you guys. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. So let me know if there's any questions you have down in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel with the like button as well. If this helped you out at all, we can get this out there in the algorithms. And uh, yeah, if you want to get into some of the technical content, as always, I'll put that on the screen for you guys to, uh, to jump over there and I'll see you guys in those videos. Thanks for watching.